Uh, we're going to shift our focus now further down the American continent to South America, where a Dutch man is in custody in Peru. The Dutch consulate is offering Joran van der Sloot a defense lawyer in the death of a Peruvian woman. Rafael Romo reports on this man's latest brush with the law. Joran van der Sloot appeared then emotional as he was paraded in front of the cameras in Lima, the capital of Peru. After being expelled from Chile, he was returned to Peru as the only suspect in the death of 21-year-old Stephanie Flores, who was beaten to death. The most important thing was how the Chilean government and its president rapidly responded and the coordination that happened between police agencies. Peruvian police released the hotel surveillance video that shows Joran van der Sloot and Stephanie Flores entering on Sunday, May 30th at 5.20 in the morning. A second camera shows both of them entering the room moments later. Three hours and 20 minutes later, he leaves the hotel by himself, carrying a backpack. He tells hotel staff that he's coming back and asks them not to bother Flores, whom he calls my girl, according to police. Authorities say this is one of several pieces of incriminating evidence they have against van der Sloot, as well as bloody clothes he was carrying with him when he was caught in Chile. Police say they have the testimonies of staff at both the hotel and the casino where the victim and the suspect met, positively identifying Joran van der Sloot. They also say they're analyzing forensic evidence that may link the suspect to the murder. Enrique Flores, the victim's brother, says his family is very grateful for authorities in both Chile and Peru for catching van der Sloot so quickly. I, I cannot say that, that, that I was... I was happy or I felt a little relief in this in this big pain that that I have and my family have. This pain won't go away. The trip by land in Peruvian territory took more than 12 hours. A 16-vehicle police convoy traveled more than 1,000 kilometers to transport Joran van der Sloot from the border to Lima, the capital, followed at all times by more than 20 media vehicles. Interior Minister Octavio Salazar explained the decision to transport the suspect by land. National police aircraft were being used in events relating to the OAS summit, and we decided not to use commercial aviation because passengers would probably have had objections under the circumstances. Police say van der Sloot has asked to see his mother. While he was being shown to the press inside the Criminal Investigations Building, a spectacle unveiled outside. <laughs> Peruvian shamans performed a ritual calling for supernatural punishment for the 23-year-old Dutchman. Rafael Romo, CNN, Lima, Peru. Now, if he looks familiar, there's a reason. Van der Sloot has been accused of murder before. He was the prime suspect in the 2005 disappearance of American teenager Natalie Holloway in Aruba. He was arrested and released twice in connection with her disappearance, but was never charged. The 23-year-old Dutch citizen has been charged with extortion and fraud in the U.S. state of Alabama for allegedly attempting to sell details about Holloway, whose body was never found.